Stuck at home during COVID-19? Is your gym closed to prevent any violations of social distancing? One man, a friend of mine from 2012, has a solution that he started on in 2015, and I'm here today to share that solution with you. Does it have anything to do with my fitness in particular? No, I just think it's cool, so here we go. It was the early spring of 2012 when I met Mark Prickett and began training with him for seven months. It's been a while since that occasion, but uh, we have still stayed connected even after he moved to West Lynn. And we're here today to get an introduction to his home gym that he has created by himself almost entirely out of wood. I had a full gym uh, full of Craigslist uh, equipment and I circumstances led to me having to um, having to sell those for money and uh, so then I had no gym. Other circumstances later in my life, soon after, um, kind of uh, mostly being involved with arm wrestling and meeting my wife, uh, we eventually decided that we would need a gym that would um, you know provide everything that we would need in terms of arm wrestling, our arm wrestling to support arm wrestling training as well as support my personal training business. So I didn't have a lot of money at the time. So instead I decided to get a little creative and uh, build my own equipment according to whatever, my, whatever needs uh, that I had, so. Do you have, I mean, before about 2015, did you have any kind of history of woodworking? Uh, you know what, I had some basic skills that I acquired early in life uh, through just, <laughs> Being a slave to my dad, to my to my old man, he used to drag me around to whatever project he had, and I would be the guy that, that would, you know, hold nails or hold the flashlight or, you know, do all the um, the peasant work, and then you know I was able to acquire some some skills through that. So I had to teach myself how to build this equipment before I had to before I actually built it. Well, that was my next question. Um... You remind me because I know you've actually told me this before years ago. These these don't come with blueprints. You no. you just looked at somebody else's. You looked at hammer strength or whoever. You looked at some Correct. professional piece and went, "How can I do that?" Correct. What I would do is first establish. And you just don't want to be on camera, do you? No, you I keep like drifting. Hide. You keep drifting. There we go. All right. I need to grow. All right. Talk to me. So. All right. So. It starts with necessity. First, you establish what you need. Uh, you know, in terms of um, you know what what is going to give you success with your training. With me, it starts with having you know the the dumbbells, the free weights first. So I was able to acquire the, the free weights. That's one thing I, I wasn't able to to build myself. Um, so most of my money right away went to dumbbells, plates, and barbells. Once I, I got that, then I was like, okay, I need benches. So I figured out how to build benches. I just did basic research of, uh, you know, first uh, how to build benches out of wood, then, you know, how to build benches in general and made my decision. It was a, a very basic build, easy build, um, but it also, was, it also gave me confidence once I was able to, to build the, the simple little bench that I made which led to another a little bit more complex bench, which was custom to me. So once you kind of go from a, a basic bench, that is you're taking the, the dimensions from a regurgitated plan. So another person's plan, that's a little easier. But once you start making custom, everything custom to you, um, things change a little bit, take a little bit longer to develop, a lot of redesigns, a lot of mess ups. So, um, and I had a lot of those. Really, like I said, necessity drove me to each piece of equipment. Like I needed it somewhere to perform my squats and my deadlifts and my benches. So not only did I need benches, but I needed a power rack. So I looked up like the best power racks in the, on the market. And yeah, like you said, I, like I, I just studied their design, tried to engineer, tried to come up with 
um, parts that I would be able to replace. So in this life, you're either going to spend time or money and you opted for time because you didn't really have the money at the time. Exactly. Well, I needed to get, I needed the education first. I needed to know uh, exactly what I was going to do. Once the education came, then the plan. First the education, then the plan, and then just the execution. So once I knew exactly how to build everything, I designed exactly how I was going to build everything, and then it was just executing, uh, executing that plan, and then this is the result of that. Mark still lived in Redmond when he had some of this equipment, so I have already used a few of the pieces, but for the rest of this video now, he's going to take me through just about everything he's got, including some new things I haven't seen, and he tells me I get to figure out how to use it, so that should be interesting. I'm gonna go get changed and we'll get started. All right, so this is a homemade dumbbell. <laughs> My attempt at a homemade dumbbell. This is one of the first things I ever made uh, this is two <laughs> protein jugs that are mended together. I poured a, you know, a bag of concrete inside, let the concrete sit. Before I let it dry completely, I put a rod that, that runs. I didn't have a lot of funds and I wanted to see what, like, what it would do, what it would look like, how functional it would be. Okay. This was before I bought all that. Right. There you go. <clears throat> Not bad. I, I can I can literally pick it up. That's okay. what I can literally do with it. Get here. Let it come out on the bicep. Curl it back. A lot of times we just do static holds to try to hold, see how long we can hold it there. Come back. So this is a customized trap bar. All this wood is, is old barn wood that I had to dig out of the ground. <laughs> That's why it's all cracked. Am I just going down like for a deadlift? Just going down to deadlift, you're kind of you're coming straight back up. Straight back up. Yep. Chest is up. There you go. And you're coming just straight up. Okay. And then once yep. it's up. You're just coming straight down. You, so now you don't want to plant do. it, but you just want to just slightly touch. Come up and focus on your shoulders coming back at the same time. Okay. So bring it back. Just like that. That's perfect. Yep. Position. Yep. Okay. So and do like do like two two or three more reps and then I would just do some shrugs at the end. Perfect. Yes. High as you can get it, yep. And it's a different, slightly different approach because you're kind of pulling up and in at the same time. Okay. I've loaded this up to near 900 pounds. It can hold near 900 pounds. Wow. Probably your biggest beast, even if your more complex ones are over there, is your is what we're calling the squat rack. Mm -hmm. But you've, you've got really almost more of a, this is a multi-purpose frame. Yes. Um, what's it, what, what can be done here? Uh, you know, I would say most of your compound movements, anything involving more than two muscles, um, to execute the movement properly, you can do on this machine. You can do, uh, you know, your standard bench presses, overhead presses, your squat, um, your deadlifts. You do some many different variations of your pull-ups. Man, this one's hard. To, this one's probably the hardest to explain. But all right, so this is an all-in-one arm wrestling slash wrist hand universal. I took some ideas and, and I added, I Frankenstein what I needed from those ideas and this is the result. Okay. All right, so get your, back this up maybe because you're taller than I am. Okay. So back this up maybe a couple inches. That. You said now you're gonna wanna get your armpits on that and like kind of dip underneath this a little bit. With my body. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's a standing preacher curl. So you can go, you know, isolaterally with either arm or together. But okay. now you're in the correct position where the, the biceps are isolated. Get up there. Yeah. Up? Uh, man, I don't know if I have any. What's it? What? Hand squeezer or hand? Hand dominator. Is it a forearm? It's the hand dominator. It's your, it's your hand, forearm, and wrist uh, system. Yeah, system, there you go. Okay. But you want to come all the way to where this hits that. You want to, I want to hear it hit every time. Hard. Yes. Yes. And these, obviously you can go a lot heavier in, but you, you do, uh, you know, 30 or 40 reps. Yeah. And you can see all the muscles working in the forearms. There you go. Oh, three's good. That's a good demo. That's... <laughs>
Mark was giving me a preview before we started, and he came over to this thing and he said, now this is for, most people can't figure this out, and I said, stop, let's wait until we're on video then. Now, this is quite literally my first time looking at this and even touching it. Um, <laughs> I know it's for arm wrestling, because you said this is your arm wrestling Correct. training area. Yep. All right, so let me just see here. We have some resistance that way. It also goes this way. Um, I know from the one arm wrestling lesson you gave me, there are all kinds of things you, you strengthen. You've got pulling at it, you've got twisting. <clears throat> Is this just a fake arm wrestling opponent? Yeah, it's basically a, mecha a mechanical arm and to, to emulate everything a, uh, a normal opponent would. All, right. All the forces and components you would feel in arm wrestling, this will provide. Okay, so if I want to get him down. You're grabbing the wrong area. I'm grabbing the wrong area. Yeah. What? It's, I'm going to give you a little hint. It's set, it's set up for left hand right now. Okay. So more like that? No. Cold. It's, <laughs> his, cold. his hand comes up. The other hand comes up. Sure. No, no. Other way. no, you're getting a little warmer. No, no, that's the wrong area. No. <laughs> um, there's not much else left to grab, but... Well, when you're ready to give up, you know, you just... All right, all right, okay. show them. All right. So right here, left-handed, you want to get into it like this. So in, oh. and then this is the thumb. You want to grab on your opponent's thumb. And that's why you can do it left hand or right hand. That's why you got two, you can switch it over. Okay. That way you're grabbing just like someone's wrist and someone's, it's like someone trying to do this to you and then rotate out of your hand. Okay. So as soon as you grab it, you can put weight on the weight stack and it's automatically put, putting um, pressure into your hand. So it's wanting to pull your hand out and it's wanting to do this. If I relax, this is what it looks like. Okay. And this is what the same thing that most arm wrestlers are going to try to attempt to do to you. It's pronating. I made a wrist that can pronate. This can cup, so it's bringing, making me see my palm, and that's what a normal opponent was, is always going to try to do. And I can actually regulate the resistance of each individually. Um, and this can move. I made an arm that can move in any direction that any arm can do. It can come up in any direction. I can make this resistance come from like any diagonal, or a diagonal direction or any direction I want to strengthen, and I feel like I need to strengthen, I can make this arm perform. Did, okay, but did you base this off of anything? No, Are I you made about this. to blow my mind that you crafted this? I 100% put this together. There's, not, there's nothing that really has anything like this. You can look online. You can look on Google. Google mechanical arm and see what comes up. So basically, arm wrestlers around the world are now going... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I would say this is the number one most requested video. I'm currently working as we speak on the video for this right now, DIY video. So this is a tricep, an all-in-one tricep universal machine. So you can you can actually turn it a little bit more of like a pressing. Uh huh. Okay. Now if you're going for just pure tricep strength, this is probably the exercise that's maybe a little bit better. If you're going for like uh, tricep separation, tricep definition, or just overall development, and this is you kind of want to like so if you're going to press right down to my hand, that's right here. Yep. So this just, this makes sure it's only the triceps. Just the triceps, yes. I can't put my body weight in, I can't lean in. Correct. Okay, so I made this, basically because I've, I always wanted one. You wanted the legs all the way together. And I needed a spot to, uh, for my clients to be able to do perform dips. So most of my clients, stay at home mom, 45 year old stay at home moms, could not perform body weight dips. Um, so this is a great alternative for that. You can, you want to really, you can see the tricep right there, especially in the, on the video. And you squeeze the tricep at the end. And you can involve as much of the tricep or the chest as you want just by uh, how much you're, you're able to lean back or forward. This is a, uh, a multi-unit multi bench, or an incline, a flat incline bench. Up here is a, uh, well, I guess you could say a universal pressing machine. You can do every form of pressing on this. Exactly like that. This is a lat tower uh, where you do most of your like you know, pull down work, do tricep, tricep work, overhead. This is my lower pulley version of that, so yeah, so stay over and then just row right to your belly, keeping your legs 
straight and a little higher. There you go. There you go. And of course you can turn this into you know, any ver variation of exercises that need resistance on the ground. Stand up first and then get into position. Yeah. So your toes want to be pretty even, pretty flush with this plate. All the way up. Make sure both feet are even. And then using this, you want to really lean back, spread your knees and get your hips down. It allows you to go nice and deep like that. There you go, that actually is good on film too. There you go. And you look strong doing it, do a couple more. Yeah, let's go two more. All right, so this is a standard uh, bicep curl slash tricep extension machine. You can perform just about any, any kind of number of uh, bicep curl exercises, either one arm at a time or two. You can use either that or you can hold it, I, you know, you can hold it more like a, a neutral grip position. Hey, that's better. So tricep, you just wanna pull, pull this out, this pin out, which keeps the, that in place. This goes up. Oh, okay. Watch you, you're gonna, Oh, sorry. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. From here, it's the same way. You just press straight down. But you do it seated. And then straight down. And ease it to your neck. I just gotta find a good plate. I gotta find the right To your neck. There you go. Good. Like I said, this is super light. Now, you can go as heavy as you need on this. But as you can see, you can, it really stretches the tricep. And it works your abs trying to keep yourself in place. Yeah. And that wraps up today's tour of Mark Prickett's home gym. He lives in West Lynn, Oregon at this point, so I don't see him very much anymore, but uh, good to see you again, good to be back. And uh, I know I've experienced some of it, but some of it was new. And you have also started your own personal training business. Mm -hmm. I see it emblazoned on your shirt there. So th things, are <laughs> things are going well. Good, so hope you enjoyed the tour. If you are stuck at home or you just are not the kind of person that wants to invest in a gym or expensive equipment, uh, if you've got the time and the handyman skills, um, take a look at Mark's YouTube channel, Powerborn Productions. He's got entire do-it-yourself episodes on how he made most of the stuff in here. Uh, great way to go, great way to, to get in shape uh, without ever leaving your garage. So. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time on A Body in Progress. I don't remember you being that short. <laughs> Take up the whole, do you, whole screen. Do you need to roll up your sleeves for this, I might. For this opening? I might. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Says you can't act. Huh? It all depends Dude, on the just role. Being me, right? If you need to be a, you know, a total muscle head, you could do that role easily. I know. I <coughs> own it. All right.